있을까 Baby 네 눈을 보면 알수 있을까 너도 내 맘과 같았음 좋겠어 내 조금 느린 발걸음이 나는 좋았어 Hey beautiful faces, it's me Sunny and welcome back to my channel here for my 50 over 50 beautiful men and women. We're all beautiful, 50 over 50, and living life golden, not olden. So in 2020, it was so much going on in the world. We didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what was happening. Was losing so many family and loved ones and friends with that COVID. I've actually lost a brother and I lost some other friends and their family members. And it was scary. So you just had to find something that was going to keep you grounded, keep your mind off of everything that was going on. So I found the interest in plants. And let me tell you, I was so into the plants. It almost became an addiction because I love to see me buy the plants, uh, take them out of the pot, replant them, soy them, uh, put them in the new soil and just watch them just blossom and watch them uh grow into a beautiful plant that it is but i started neglecting my plants when i got back into this into this world that we're in right now and it's still you know nothing has changed and we got back into it and it just is honestly to me in my opinion is worse so i'm going to show you my neglect please do not judge me but i'm about to do something about all of that today I'm here with my pothos plant okay so she's not as bad but she's bad because as you can see she has these brown leaves all over her vine and these plants are the easiest plants for you to purchase and take care of because they're vining plants and they grow long all you have to do is water them maybe once a week or once every two weeks and they grow on their own but i'm gonna get on her today and i'm going to remove the neglect and throw it out the garbage and start working on her and getting her tresses and her long locks looking beautiful again then i'm gonna scroll over here to my majestic palm as you can see same thing all of his but the thing about it is he is getting a new baby here with my finger here it is he's getting a new baby here so he's not as bad but the leaves shouldn't be gold and yellow and all just looking limpy. The majestic palm should be up and vibrant. You know what I mean? So I'm going to work on him today as well. Over, Let me come over to my fiddle leaf fig. This plant here, and see these plants are not cheap. And that's why I'm upset with myself because I spent a lot of money on these plants. This one here is the same thing. As you can see, the leaves just fall right off because they need to be pruned. I need to get them all off. They just come right off because it's time. That's why they're turning brown. And normally when the plants are yellow, that means they're e either overwatered or maybe the soil, maybe have um, it's bad soil or there's root rot at the bottom of the plant. So this is the fiddle leaf fig. All right. Then we're going to come down, excuse the bottom of the floor of the ground or the patio. I have my snake plant. It's nothing wrong with her. It's nothing wrong with her. I just need to put her in a different pot. Now this is where I really have to do my job. So this tall fiddle leaf fig, I call him Shaq because he has grown so tall with the care that I had given him along with my husband. We both had been taking care of him. But because of the world opening up, going back on, you know, business, traveling and not being able to take care of Shaq, that's Shaq right there, all the way up. That's another fiddle leaf fig. Go all the way down in this black pot right here. This white pot is another fiddle leaf fig. That's another one. It stops right there. So this one we nurtured from, I think we got this one from Lowe's. It was on sale. It was just like a Charlie Brown tree, if you know what I mean. 
and we nurtured it to what it is now. So I want to make sure that we continue to nurture it and it doesn't, you know, fade away and, and just get bad like it was when we bought it. Then over here, I have this corn plant and this is a combination plant. Sorry. This is a combination plant of a corn plant and the pothos. The corn plant looks very limp. It's the leaves supposed to be up and vibrant like that. And so, yeah, I need to get on her as well. And then in the back here, there's another fiddly fig. I love fiddly figs. If you notice, I have more of them than any of the plants. She's actually doing okay. She's doing fine. That's, um, that's Angel. Like Angel Reese, the basketball player, that's her. So she's doing fine. This is Angel Reese, and this is the uh, this is Shaq. Okay, and the and then over here is my other um, majestic palm, and this is Aja. That's the other basketball player. So she's fine. She's doing fine. I just need to keep her the way she is. Okay, and then I have another plant back there. There's another uh, majestic plant in the back there. You see the yellow leaves back there yeah i gotta i gotta get her out of there i gotta get her out of that corner and get her together so what i'm gonna do because this is gonna take some while uh this is gonna take a while for me to get everything back the way i need them to be so i'm not gonna do them all on the camera today i will however show you one that i really need to take care of today and that is my peace lily Oh, so she's the one that I'm going to focus on today. Oh, man, I feel it. I feel so bad. All right, let me get started with her. And then um, I don't know what else to say, but let me just get started. I'm going to try to do it as quick as possible because it is super hot out here. You do know I am in Florida. And if you don't know, now you know. I'm in South Florida, down here in Miami. And let me tell you, it's hot. I'm not in Miami, Miami, but I'm a county line from it. All right, so I don't want to touch the plants, touch our leaves right now because I don't know what's on it because she hasn't been pruned in so long. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking all the brown leaves off, right? I'm just cutting them back. I'm not cutting them out. I'm just cutting them down so it'll give them room. It'll give it room to grow back. Some of them are just coming out because of the neglect. Let's get started. Because this plant 
this leaf has some white things on it. I don't know what that is. It actually looks like eggs. So whenever you're doing anything with your plants, you want to wear gloves because sometimes there's little critters and they come and they get into your plants and they leave eggs or they leave poop, you know, whatever it is. Um, so you got to be careful with um, not putting on your, on your gloves. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. Finish. I'm almost done. I'm going to just finish taking off the rest of the brown leaves. And then I'll come back and show you guys what I did. All right. This is Lily. I had to end up giving her a big chop. So as you can see over here, these are all her split ends and dead ends. So I had to get rid of it. In order for her to thrive and get a new growth, I needed to remove all of these dead leaves. And then I um, started irrigating the soil. I want to make sure that the soil doesn't have root rot. So it was able to go down, you know, and then the water was coming out of the, uh, out of the container here, out of the pot. What I'm going to do now is water her one last time so that she can get the uh, uh, the amount of water she needs because she has not been watered in a while. She's only been getting a lot of sun and if you know in South Florida this sun is gonna beat you down. So that's what I'm gonna do now and then I'm going to wrap up this vlog and then what I'll do is I'll do follow-ups with her and all of her brothers and sisters over here. I'll do follow-ups with them on shorts here on my YouTube channel so you can see how well they are doing okay so go ahead and look at them one last time at the top that shack over here is angel reese that's another fiddle fig over here is aja i think her last name wilson i'm not really into basketball like that but i am familiar with who they are based on my husband thank you honey and then all of the other ones i'm just going to focus on getting them back to some beautiful greenery because they look so gorgeous in your home and these plants are okay to put in your house because they bring clean ox oxygen and they clean out any toxins that's in your house okay so remember it was nothing wrong with her with my snake plant all right so let me go ahead and water let me turn it around let me water lily and get her hydrated completes my video for today just remember that we need to avoid neglect and stay tuned for my next video where we are going to talk about how to improve or neglect or neglect all right until the next time we'll see you in the next video have a sunny day decided to go ahead and not neglect them any longer and I went ahead and organized the patio first. I'm going to do achievable, achievable goals of not neglecting them. And so what I did, I, of course I did Lily. I pulled her, all her split ends and gave her a big chop. But my corn plant, I watered her and I ended up putting another pothos in there. I didn't do anything else like change the soil as of yet. Because I don't want to overdo it and not finish. So baby steps, one day at a time. So I was able to do an organizing and structuring and putting them separate and moving them out of the corner so that they can breathe and they can get oxygen and have room to grow. Because they were all piled and bunched up in the corner. And while I did that, I just went ahead and kind of cleaned my patio a little bit. It's about to rain as you can see, so they're going to get some natural water. 
And yeah, so just stay tuned. 